Welcome to this tutorial on tables in HTML. Basically, we're going to be looking at using HTML to create tables for in, uh, information and content that's organized. Okay, so basically, we're just going to need, as usual, our uh, website folder, a web browser, and Bluefish Web Editor, or another web editor. So, let's go ahead and open Bluefish and open our let's let's go ahead and open our pirate page and we'll just create a little table in here uh... we're gonna wrap the document so we don't have to, uh... lines going past the page and we're just gonna start a uh... <coughs> we're just gonna start a a table right here now a table is done like this okay start table start table and end table okay um, we're gonna add a border to our table border equals one border equals and then quotes with uh, the number one in between just so uh, we have a border that we can see okay <coughs> so the next thing we need to determine is how many rows our table is gonna have rows are just like the up and down uh, up and down levels of a table I guess uh, the horizontal pieces so we're just gonna put in TR for table row okay and another set of TRs, TR for table row. Yep. Okay. And uh, in between our table rows, we're going to put TD. Okay, TDs. Again, we've just got our table, start table, end table. Within our table, we have two different table rows, right? And then we have t TD, which is just a uh, piece of a table. Not really sure why it's called TD. That's a pretty good question, but we're just we're just gonna go with that. And here we're just gonna put two different uh, two different uh, pieces of information. Why don't we? Since we're doing the pirate page, why don't we just put Jack Spetto and Will Turner. That that sounds good. So we'll go ahead and save this, and uh, we'll open Firefox and open our uh, pirate page. So here we have our little table. It's got two rows. It's got Jack Sparrow and Will Turner. Okay. Now, what if we want? Uh, what if we want more information in the table? We want uh, this to be split in half and have more information. So there's four, uh, basically four uh, cells in the table total. Well, what we're gonna have to do <coughs> is add more. Uh, we're gonna have to add more TDs. Uh, those are basically cells. Yeah. Uh, TD table cell or whatever it should maybe be TC for table cell but okay let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, we'll just move Will Turner up here All right and then we'll we'll just put in here uh, jellyfish and bubble wrap this is a completely useless table in case you haven't noticed yet uh, so let's go ahead back to Firefox and we'll just refresh this so now we have uh, now we have a table with two columns we see that two columns and two rows right there's four cells two columns that's up and down so up and down and up and down and two rows left and right left and right <coughs> all right so now what if we want to if we wanted to add a third row we could just add another uh, table row right then we could just add some more uh, table cells or TDs whatever they're called that <laughs> and uh, what if what if this one we wanted to uh, let's just put something in there uh, Black Pearl. What if we wanted this one to span? Uh, what if we wanted this one, the Black Pearl, to span all the way across? Well, what we're going to have to do there is we're going to uh, have to put in the uh, table, uh, the table cell, call span, column span, whoops, column span equals two, which tells this uh, this cell 
to span two columns. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay. We'll refresh it. And there we go. Look, the black pearl now spans two columns. So we could uh, we could even add another table or another table row after that, just to give us the full effect. And we'll go ahead and put in uh, our TDs here, and we'll fill this one with. Uh, ooh, trying to think of something piratey, marooning. Okay, and arg. What's it called? Mutiny. Mutiny. That's a good one. All right. So <clears throat> there we are. See, now we have this uh, really, really intricate table that absolutely means nothing. So again, <clears throat> in our table, we have start table and end table, right? We have table rows, and a table row is going to be start tr end tr. Each table row represents basically a row in the table. So here's a row, there's a row, here's a row, and uh, then we have our TD, which represents a table cell. So that's going to be like our Will Turner cell or our Jack Sparrow cell, something like that. So I'm just going to show you one uh, one last cool thing you can do. Uh, if you change this TD to T. H we'll just we'll just do that now. Now it's a table heading, right? So basically that just makes it that just uh, makes it bold or just emphasized. So that's kind of cool. And uh, we're gonna look at a couple more a couple more things actually before we're done. We're gonna check out cell padding. We're gonna add uh, cell padding of uh, let's add. 10 for plenty of effects so you can really see what it does. I'm going to save that. Now we'll just go ahead and refresh. And now you see we have padding on the cell. Basically uh, basically what happens is uh, around the words we have a uh, cell padding of 10. Makes it look a little better. So now we will add, we'll try cell spacing. Okay, we're, we're going to set the cell padding to zero for now, just so you can see what the cell spacing does. Okay, and we'll refresh this. And the cell spacing basically puts space in between the actual cells. It doesn't put padding around the text, but it puts space uh, between the cells of the, uh, of the table. So let's go ahead and set our cell spacing to, to zero and our cell padding to 10, because that looks really good. So, there we go. That, that looks quite a bit better. So that's, that's basically how to create a table. Now, if you don't want to have a border, uh, you could put zero for the border, which I usually like to do. I think that, that probably looks the cleanest, depending on how you do it. Uh, or you could even have a border of, say, four. We'll just try that a minute. There's a border of four. It's kind of thick around the edge there. That looks that looks kind of cool. So maybe we'll leave it that way. But at any rate, this is how you do it. Uh, this is how you uh, create tables in HTML. So just go over this one more time. We got our table, start table, end table. We've got our rows, table row, start table row, end table row, which just correspond to actual actual rows like this. Uh, we've got our TD. Which is just going to be, uh, which is just going to be individual cells. So this is a TD or a cell. This is a TD or a cell. Uh, actually, this one, this one is special because it's TH table heading, table heading TH, which makes it uh, emphasized or bold. And uh, this one has only one cell in a row, right? Uh, it has one cell in a row row in the column span col span equals two so it spans two columns here uh, we have a cell spacing of zero which means there's no space in between the cells right they just kind of cut off in a nice line right there we have a cell padding cell padding equals 10 in quotation marks which means that the padding around the words in the cell is going to be 10.
So this has been a, an interesting tutorial on tables and uh, we have now modified our pirate page with a little bit of uh, silly table editing. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is uh, Cameron Versluz over and out.